Saracens, remember, were two men down against Harlequins, and it was still a devil of a job to score against them, but this is Stewart galloping through. Ashton never scored in a Premiership final. The Premiership's all-time leading try scorer within three metres, but no further. Liebenberg waits. Genge interested. Head down. Pumps his legs and drives them to within a metre, maybe two. Liebenberg. Liebenberg still going. Determination, the final's first try. I think what will please Steve Borthwick most about this try is not the initial break, although Freddie Stewart does a really good job. It's the patience they show. Ben Earl very, very nearly turns this over on the goal line. But Leicester get their shape and they don't panic. This is brilliant from Stewart. The little Ben, the bounce outside, and he doesn't pass early. Gives Ashton the best chance possible. But Ben Earl nearly got in there then. And then it's about the power of Liebenberg. He's been doing this all season. Brown, and with good, Dan Cole driving him over on the outside. Yeah, it's raised, just it? has the reach to it's get to the line. Farrell jumps in, doing his best to try and get his hands underneath it, but it's too late. He's been exceptional for Leicester this season, and he was so low. He was under the radar, wasn't he? I mean, it would have been some job to stop him. And it's not George Ford, it's Freddie Burns. Leicester has one excellent kicker, replaced by another, and they lead 7-3. Yeah, it's the break by Stewart, but Elliot Daly has to stay. Look how tight defensively Saracens are in this. He's the outside man, he's the corner. He has to come forward and stay with his inside defence, and because he comes forward just one yard there, it means he's got to chase the angle. That gives Stewart the ability to fend, please. stays on his feet, gives the ball to Ashton. He thinks that maybe he's going to get there, goes for power, and after three more phases, they go it's over. Thanks, Eric. Bit of a matchup as well on the line. Tompkins having to defend in at guard. He would have wanted someone with a bit more ballast there to prevent Liebenberg from getting out of that brilliant take from Bonapole. Brilliant catch. <laughs> Not sure he was um, ready for it being that quite a test, but um, it all just seemed to die on him right at the end. And oh, Leicester conceding the penalty straight away. Wigglesworth on the floor. Farrell! Scruffy, but gathered by Daly and uh, around the corner to Maitland. Back to the Saracen support. I don't think the forwards thought that that was going to come to anything. They all stayed on the right hand yeah. side, but a few little offloads and Maitland finds himself away, but isolated. That's what happens, isn't it? Most training sessions, whether you're here, whether you're playing rugby in the eye of the white, wherever you are, if the, if the back starts showboating, the forwards say, no, that's it, I'm not playing anymore. Roll clear, please. Roll clear, uh, please. From the kind of distance that you you need your big cannons. And Elliot Daly has the biggest in the, in Saracens ranks. Um, Hanro Liebenberg, by the way, the the fourth South African to score in an English Premiership final. You. Esther Hazen and Lowe last season for Quinns here, and the Ernst Schubert, the Saracen of old. What of this Englishman opportunity today? He was saying this week to blur the memory of his only other Premiership final. He was part of the Wasp side beaten here. He will remember that dramatically in extra time by Exeter five years ago. Described that as a hundred minutes in 32 degrees heat, and he ended up losing. He's never won a major club trophy. We know he won't struggle with distance. Clips it over beautifully. Back within a point. Half an hour played in the final at Twickenham. Leicester seven, Saracen six. Yeah, fine kick. And as we see Davis in the bit, that's crucial for Saracens. Just to keep chipping away at the scoreboard while they're down to 14 men. And the more they can take the sting out of that, the more they'll benefit when Davis comes back on psychologically.
gathered by Ezekwe. More! Ron Apola was um, right behind him just to tuck it in for extra security. Dan Cole's got himself in a very awkward position from uh, Alex Good. So in the end, Billy Von Apola just had to rip it away himself. And Saracen's now finding some open space. And Tompkins, all oh, that jagged step of his, ripping through defences. 50-20 on. Good. It's a hell of a clear out from Otoji on Rafael there in the midfield. Taken by Stewart. He was uh, upended by a combination of uh, Earl and Malins. Off your feet. Alex Good now back in the uh, traditional fullbacks catching position, having to, to double up as the scrum half as well at the moment. No. A little, a little striker caterpillar use it. that's taking some time to form. Big Billy. Jumping with Guy Porter. He's been good Billy so far, hasn't he? Another Extra couple of yards in the carry. Here's his brother Mako. Mako saying this week that becoming a father has added just a different perspective. Oh, it's charged down by Wigglesworth. Where's the ball? Wigglesworth didn't know. Ashton on his way. Oh, that's clever. Moroni. It's gone loose and Farrell's there. And he may have to bear out and put it down. Put the charge down, leading to chaos. Oh, this is nearly the most Saracens try you could see yeah, the old days brilliant charge down from Wigglesworth he can't find the ball but when they do find it this Ashton kick we used to see for Saracens all the time all the defense running to the touchline the kick back against the grain if that goes where he wants it it would have been a real tight one between Owen Farrell Moroni and Wigglesworth to who got there first Farrell just gets back but gets caught and another big scrum for Leicester on Saracens line can Vincent Cock Okay. And back over the pole up, pull out another penalty when they need it. He won the first of um, his record six Premiership medals when he was part of the Sale team that beat Leicester back in 2006. And now, uh, well, you still have to blink several times, don't you, to see him in that shirt playing against those shirts. Can Leicester get this strike and secure? And whether that initial storm that they know is going to come their way, and then once it's at Beast's feet, then it's settled. They'll have a it's little dabble, noise. It's gone try and nudge them. And it's not. It's different. See yeah. Beast are probably picking off the base. How do you defend without That's a scrum right, half in a situation yeah, I know, like this? Benny? Let's go then. It's scrum. difficult. I know my name's not Benny, but I'll answer it for you because I played scrum half. It's what? because you lose that first okay, initial okay, chance okay. to kill it at the base. What? So if it's a bit of a messy scrum and Visa goes to pick it up, you can hold on to his hand, you can stand on his foot, just get in his head a little bit. But if no one there, and, and Goody's a brilliant rugby player, but he won't be used to stepping into that position, it's a lot easier for the eight to get the ball away from the base. And because of the numbers, he'll be desperate to get away and defend in the back line as well. And that's the penalty. Big call now. Higher, loose head, please. It's not been consistent, so you can't say Leicester have got them. So do they back themselves and take another scrum, or do they kick into the corner? Or tap and go with Ellis Genge? Here's the decision. Don't tap free by. and go, and snort, and it's Genge. Wigglesworth, quickly. Oh, they've gone the other way! Yeah. This one looks tactical to me. If you see Wigglesworth just making sure that the tap's taken from a wider position to create space down that blind side. There's the tap, it goes back, everyone thinks, well, it's not going to go that way, and then the late chance. That's run. definitely something that Leicester have worked on on the training ground this week. And in the biggest stage of all, it's come up trumps. So often you work on little moves, you play, play them in the game, they don't come off. This one has. Beast around the corner, catching Maitland, just napping a little bit, not expecting it to come down, so he doesn't jam off the line quickly enough. Into two of the back three in Good and Maitland, and Visa, Leicester's primary ball carrier, gets over the line.
Hugo said it in the build-up, Nick. He said, have a coach on the field, and you saw it then. Wigglesworth knew exactly where to place people, exactly what was going on. This has been practiced on the pitch. I'll show you exactly how it sets up, because what they're trying to do is isolate a weaker defender. Uh, it's a, it's a five-point score, but it's 12-6. We see it best from high. We look above. Just look at the pod. They carry first, and then they've got the pod that we spoke about before the game stood on the open side. But look at their body angles. They all know where they're going. They're just, they don't want to go too early. They want to wait. They set off, and then they've got their biggest ball carrier taking on the smallest defender in Alex Good on the short side. He always is going to win that first collision as opposed to hitting the Toji. That's what creates the space, creates the try. They've taken advantage of that yellow card for sure. Yeah, Saracens led 3-0 when Ali Davis was sent off for 10 minutes. He's back on the pitch with Leicester leading 12-6. Real on, slow walk go. back up the field from Owen Farrell to kick off. They did this last week in the semi-final when Harlequins got it. out to a couple of scores. I know they've dealt with yellow cards last week. And they've dealt with being behind and come back. They'll think, be calm out there. I think that stat will please Warthwick the most. They've starved red zone dropping, possession. Dropping. From Saracens, no entries into the red zone. That's critical. Ben Earl. Over yeah, halfway. Not worrying too much about um, the high tackle there because, as we heard from Tom Foley and Wayne Barnes, there was um, some slipping going on. Good. Daly accelerating. Mailings. Oh, there's a Leicester defender there at the moment, and uh, the latest one was Harry Potter. Billy Ronapola bringing it back into midfield. Farrell. Oh. He was fabulous last Saturday. Patrick dragging them back into it against Harlequins. Mako Bonapola decided not to use a Zico because he had some magic of his own up his sleeve. Alan Davis, McFarlane calls for it. Did well to hold on to it under a lot of pressure. Bonapola away to Davis and then Farrell. And now Daly again and good. Taps it through on Stewart in a bit of trouble here. And the strength, goodness me, the strength of drive through good and can turn a potentially perilous situation into a penalty with a brilliant play all round. The Saracens attack concert. under huge pressure from Leicester's defence. How they kept that ball alive, it looked like they were going to have to die with it. But Owen Farrell here gets through, looks like he's tackled, throws it out the back door to Bonapola, that creates the one-on-one -on -one with Wigglesworth. Brilliant attack in a storm just from Saracens, but then under the most pressure, Stewart gets Leicester out of trouble by getting off his line and winning the penalty.